Welcome to another lesson by YourTechVision.com and today I'm going to teach you what every single one of your finger gestures will do. On the iPad we're talking one, two, three, four, five different finger. combinations of what your uh, fingers will do. Screen lock. So let's go ahead and start with your uh, screen lock and there's a couple different ways you can flick your finger of course to move it across but if you know your uh, slide to unlock is at the bottom slide you can just frame. literally Gesture. start on the left hand side and Double move it all the way to the right. Now the trick is on the iPad is think a light touch and then think even lighter. So you can start at the top left hand corner to figure out where everything is at. Messages, calendar, notes. I'm Reminders, touching the maps. iPad incredibly store, lightly video, YouTube, contact, and camera, just moving game, my photo, finger across. Music. Now the nice thing about this is you can move really quickly. Safari. And as soon as you hear double something, you can double tap any place. So take one finger and double tap and you will open Safari. Safari. Download the Zillow iPad app. Two fingers Link. stops voiceover from talking. Now I'm going to take five fingers and I'm going to pinch it close, closed like that on the iPad and I immediately go back to home Safari. page. Double you can also open. do two fingers will stop voiceover from talking. So one finger we're going to do the flick method and that's just lightly Mail. flick. 18th new stand folder, new stand folder, photos. Now if you know uh, the open. iPad you know I'm at the bottom of the screen because I know where my icons are at. I can also move right to left Camera. and move Face back. Time. Camera. Music. That easy. So Double if you know open. where your icons are at, you can just position your hand accordingly and start moving across. Photos. Now the next uh, finger gesture is going to be three fingers. So very lightly and it doesn't take much. I'm page going to take three, three fingers slide. Page three of three. and I'm Google moving from page to page. Page two of three. Slide. Page two of page one of three. Messages. That easy. You can also move all the way back to your Search spotlight. View. Is editing. Search iPad. So if you're actually looking for capital S, capital S, and I've got it on touch S. typing, but if you're looking for Safari, and then once you know it's brought up, Sue Allen, email, tap your uh, mid Allen. part and Contacts. move through. Safari. Talk There's it. Safari, and I can double tap, and it will open. Okay, taking five fingers, I'm pinching it closed on the iPad to go back Messages. to home. Page. Double tap to open. Okay, so now let's go ahead and move uh, to Safari. I know Safari's at the uh, left of my iPad and down in the corner, and I can quickly Safari. move through that fast. It bypassed all the icons. I can double tap any place. One finger, double tap. Safari. Download the Zillow iPad app. Link. So now I'm going to actually show you the app switcher. So take four fingers, very lightly just lift up on this your is iPad. Switcher. There's the app switcher. These are all the running programs that are, are running on my iPad. So I'm going to take four fingers, I'm going to lightly close it. I'm going to take four fingers and I'm just going to move them across the page very lightly. And as you can hear, cloud on. Switching to notes. There's my notes. So these are all the open programs on my iPad. So very lightly just flick through. If I ever want to go back to home, I just take notes. my five Seven fingers notes. and I pinch it closed and I'm back Safari. to home. So you can get back to double home to very, very quickly. Let's go ahead and go into Safari. I heard it. I can double tap any place. And I open Safari. Safari. Download the Zillow iPad app. So I'm going to go ahead and go Selected. to another tab. So skip to search. Link. So if I wanted to actually copy a link uh, someplace, uh, let's go ahead and just move across. Visual to or not, Tennessee property data. Parcel Tennessee detail. property data. Let's go ahead and just double tap any place. State of Tennessee real estate assessment data. Image. Web page loaded. So I heard image. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to tap and hold. State of Tennessee real estate assessment data. Image. And another save option image. opens. Uh, so if this was truly a picture that I wanted, there's save image copy. and Button. there's copy. So I could actually copy that. And I'm going to copy. I'm going to double tap any place. And I'm going to move to notes. So I'm data. taking four image. fingers. I'm moving it across. To notes. Bluff City. There happens to be another address that I detected. typed. Note. Note. Home. Heading north. And I actually hit the address and it popped right in there. But I'm going to take four fingers. I'm going to move it back to notes. Switching to notes. Notes. Note. One three seven six one eight. Address detected. Open in maps button. Dismiss pop up. And it actually will give me options. Open in maps. Add to contacts. Copy. Touch. Double touch. Dismiss. Notes. 1, so you can copy and paste uh, information or pictures. 
Switching to maps. Let's go back. Switching to notes. Switching to Safari. Safari. State of Tennessee real estate assessment data. Image. Now remember, two fingers stops voiceover from talking. One finger Cost. moves yeah. you Link. across Image. your page. Cost. Cost. Light, you can lightly flick, flick, or you can just move your finger across. The information. State of I, I, now I always tell my kids, button. start at the top left-hand corner and State just start Tennessee moving Realist. through. I, distinct. The in, cost. Map. Link. Tenth look. Sir Anderson. And listen to everything. The controller's uh, real estate assessment data. Two webs. fingers stops him from talking. So that uh, gives me and my students a lot, actually a lot more direction than flicking because as you're flicking, just data sales. you don't Link. really know Image. where you're at uh, or the layout. So I just happen to like that better. So five fingers, pinch and close. Let so me five. show you a low vision tip. Double tap trick. open. I'm going to stop voiceover from talking. I'm going to turn over vo voiceover. Oh, first, if you want to stop the sound, if you're using a braille display, you can take three fingers. Page one of three, bottom left corner. And it tells you exactly where you're at. Take three fingers and double tap. Speech off. And you turn your speech off. Three fingers, turn it back on. Speech on. Three fingers, one tap, tells you exactly where you're at. Page one of three, bottom left corner, thumbnail width. So let's go ahead and move forward page two one of page. Three, five. Once again, Double three fingers, to one touch. Page two of three. Tells you exactly where corner. you're at. Thumbnail width. Okay, so now let's sh show you the low vision trick. Turn off uh, your voiceover by hitting the home button three times. One, two, three. Voiceover off. I'm going to go into Safari. Let's say I actually wanted to increase this page. So I'm just taking my middle finger and my thumb and I'm drawing it out. So if you have low vision kids and you want them to see the map, you can make it incredibly large. And then you just pinch your fingers together to make it smaller. You can also take one finger and double tap and automatically make it larger that way. And then you can just pinch it out until it is as large as you need it to uh, see what you're doing. So that's a nice little low vision trick. Of course, there's other low vision tricks with the iPad on other lessons at yourtechvision.com. So go ahead and try those tricks. And I'm going to just take five fingers and uh, draw them forward. So all those finger touches, uh, they will work with voiceover on or off, but you especially need them with voiceover on. Okay, try those out.